How's that practice out here? It's all right. No, it was normal. Yeah. He's never been a problem, really. Yeah. You uh, had a pretty good game against Army. How what what uh what kind of led to that? Just needs to be done. Doing my job and made plays, capitalized on opportunities when they came to me. Were you happy with how you played in that game? Yeah. Could have made some more plays, but you know, this in the past now. Learn from it. Do better next time. You had some big hits with Fortune Fumble. How did it feel for you to have a game like that? What was it like coming away from that? Oh, it, was, it was a great feeling. Like, um, when we. As a defense, as a D-line, when we like get hype, get turned, do make big plays, it's contagious, it spreads. Not only do the defense get hype, but the offense see that they get hype and the momentum uh, shift. And that's, so it's, it's always a great feeling. Were you happy with how the defensive line played as a whole in that game? Yes, yeah, yeah, we flew around. You know, we, of course, it, it wasn't as good as it seemed. It's never, it's never as good as it seemed. Never as bad as it seems. Uh, we flew around. Everybody ran to the ball, did their jobs because we had a little technical error here and there, but, you know, that's part of the game. Coach, but, yeah, we played great, though. Coach, you said uh, you played a little bit inside. How much inside did you play last game? Uh, I didn't play inside at all last oh. game just because, you know, they triple option, so that was a little different. Yeah. But uh, certain, certain things we do, I, I'll bump down inside and, like, certain packages. How different is that for you? Uh, it's not really that different. It's... It's just the only difference is now you have a threat of two people coming at you instead of one. So that's the pretty much the only big deal. When did you start working in that role more on the interior? Uh, found that I was gonna be working this role more in the summer. Uh, they they mentioned it to me, so I you know drilled it a little bit. But I mean it's it's just a five technique just inside. That's how I look at it. Like, huh. it's still outside technique just. And you know, down. Do you have to use like different kind of pass rush moves when you're in that kind of yeah, space? Yeah, yeah, it's much quicker. Like they, the, the guards get on you much faster. You know, with five technique, you get to take a couple steps, see what the uh, tackle is doing. You know, read his hands, stuff like that. And when you go inside, it's much quicker. Like he doesn't have to take a step; he can jump on you right now. So hands got to be much quicker, and eyes got to be you know alert. How do you match up with those interior alignment compared to going against a tackle? Uh, it's pretty much the same for me. Like. I, Usually, I like it. Usually yeah. those interior guys are kind of a little bit slower. They're more like tougher, smaller kind of types. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tackles might be quicker on your feet. I don't know if you notice the difference. In that yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty much everywhere a rule of the uh, trick of the trade. But, I mean, it's cool to me. I like it. Have you been able to hold up against Devon on the inside the way you thought you would or the way they hoped yeah, you would? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. The only thing I have to get better at is my uh, contain the combo blocks. But other than that, it's, it's fine to me. Coach said it works because you're up to about 285, at least you were at some time last year. What do you weigh now? I wanted 285. Not he said he said 285 last year. I don't know. I want that big. I got to 275. Okay. And now I'm just ranging between that 270, 275. Right. How, how is that different from when you started here? What was the process like of adding weight? Uh, it was a little tough at first because you know gaining weight, so you got to keep you have to keep moving. Just as much you gain weight, you got to run just as much so you can get used to it. So. It was tough at first, but I adapted. What was that adjustment like? Is it do you play any differently because you're bigger now, or do you keep all the same things you have? Uh, more physical, I can say that. My physicality has got way better because of me gaining weight. But other than that, nothing really, nothing really has changed. Does that just come down to like weight training and diet, or how do you go about a transformation like that? Yeah, weight training, diet. Like I said, conditioning with the weight. You know, constantly moving and training myself to, you know, adjust with the weight, that's all. How have you developed as a player, you know, aside from just those physical things, what differences do you see in yourself from last year to this year? Oh, IQ, earlier? definitely. My IQ has definitely improved. Um, I see the game quicker, like, things slow down for me. So, that, that aspect, I know just from formations and backfield sets, what play I can get. I can eliminate this, this, and that. I know I can only get probably this or that. So, it's, the game has slowed down for me as much as my IQ has grown. Matchup against North Texas, what does that mean to your program? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, the last few competitions that came down to the wire, there's always a battle when we're going against them, so we you know, got to come with it. What are the biggest challenges preparing for their offense? Um, for D-line, for us, uh, getting to uh, their QB. You know, makes it fine. He's pretty good, but he can be he can be contained. And that's our job. This, it starts with us on that, so. Make our DB's job easier, we gotta do it. We gotta get to him.
everybody thinks of him and what he does passing, but it seems like he's a pretty effective scrambler too. How, how where do you? Guys yeah, he, he's, he's good. He's uh, he's good at uh, extending plays with his legs. Like he's not looking to run. He's not a run first quarterback. He extends plays with his legs and and with direct receivers to go off their route and you know cut up and like he got his last year on a couple plays like that. So that's you know, why I said containing him is going to be the biggest thing. Well, if we contain him, keep him in the pocket and stay in his face, hit him constantly. That should, should game should be a pretty pretty close. One. You uh, used to play quarterback. Yeah. Yeah. You miss it? Nah. Nah. Not, <laughs> not, not at all. No, no worries. I was. I can't go back. I like it. You know what I'm saying? I still have my favorites, but nah. Yeah. Did you, when you were playing quarterback, did you ever think you'd end up like a? Oh no. A, a big I didn't. I didn't start like playing this? the end until my senior year of high school. So when that happened. When my coach told me in high school that I was gonna be playing DN, I looked at him crazy like, "What you talking about DN?" But he told me this is where I'm, this is where I'm gonna strive, this is where I'm gonna go to school for. You know, of course, me being 18, 17, 18, I didn't understand it, but now I see what he meant. I'm thankful he did. Yeah, okay. you, you able to use any of that athleticism and now, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What were the hardest things to learn about the position at that point? In your oh, everything here, like you know, playing QB. You know, you gotta learn. I mean, it's. Is things were different, but at the same time, it was pretty much the same. Because the QB, you got to know the whole offense. You got to know what this man doing, that man doing, what you have to do, what you read. DN, defense in general, but DN, you have to pretty much do the same thing. Like, you don't have to know everything, per se, but you got to know, you know, majority. So, I mean, it's, but the, the techniques, the hand being down, rushing, all that was new to me. Like, I didn't. We didn't really work on that in high school. How did that impact your recruiting process? Just because you were kind of raw at that point? Uh, surprisingly, it, it helped. It boosted it. Like I had, I had a few few schools for QB offers, but the majority of uh, the other half came for DN, which was surprising to me. Like they watched the film. Like one, remember one recruit watched the film with me. It was like oh, I liked it. He, he told me how to break down my film. Half need to be DN, half need to be QB, and. Uh, so when you came to college, were you still learning a lot of different things? Yes. Like at what point did you start to feel kind of comfortable with your... I started to feel comfortable with it, like really comfortable with it, I could probably say after my freshman year. About sophomore year, like freshman year I was learning, like it was still learning, like I'm still learning now, but it was a major learning curve freshman year. So I can say like I really settled down and got it around my sophomore year, like the summer going into sophomore year. Yeah. All right, man. Thanks, Thank you, man. I appreciate